welcome back. Joining me now are our good friends from Sweet Buffalo and Buddy Second Chance, Kimberly and Julie. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. Who have you brought in today? Well, we have our new best friend, Kaylee, and <laughs> Stella the rescue dog here to tell us uh, Stella's story. Yes, okay. So, Kaylee, why don't you tell us about you and Stella's story and how you came together? Yes, yeah, so I think it's two weeks now. Um, I came outside, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning, to a dog tied up on my porch, bleeding from the neck. Um, so she had been abandoned once I figured it out that it didn't belong to anyone nearby um, on my porch. So it took like probably six, seven hours for her to open up and let me even untangle her. Um, and then I agreed once I reached out for help because I was calling and calling and no one could tell me even what to do because it's never happened to me. Um, I reached out to these two ladies or they reached out to me and helped. And then I agreed to be a foster, and within like three days, I knew I was going to not. You were a fail. <laughs> yes. Okay, been there, done that. I know that, but you guys are very connected. <laughs> yes, and she loves my golden, which I had um, my other dog passed in September, mm -hmm. and my golden has not been the same since. So she came in, and he immediately was playing with her, which he doesn't usually like big dogs. And now they're besties. So. Okay, so that's what we were just seeing that. That was uh, Stella outside. Oh, and yes. we saw her playing with your golden. And yes. then we saw her cuddling with you. Yes, so that yeah. quickly, you guys really bonded. Yeah, she has taken over the bed. Um, <laughs> she has taken over the house, which is a lot like my dog who passed. He was kind of the king of the house. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely like a quiet kind of couple months um, since he left. And she has taken over, which we love so you are an influencer and you shared your story on social media but it's really helped what you guys are trying to speak to which is the importance of fostering and, and being there to step in when when dogs are in need right absolutely you know we have noticed that you know everybody wants dogs to be helped and we want to help those dogs and buddies always wants to help but you know they have to have fosters to be able to do that so I've been saying lately sometimes the help is you and in this case it was Kaylee she said you know I will take take this dog into my home. Buddy said, we'll pay for all the medical bills. And so it was a really easy transition to get Stella the help she needed because we didn't have to find somebody else. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about the expectations and responsibilities that go into fostering so that people, whether fostering, people know whether it's right for them? Um, so we tell people when fostering that they get to choose what dog is the best fit for their home. Um, we give them an array of information, pictures, and they say, oh, you know, this dog's good with kids, cats, dogs, it's perfect for our home. Um, as far as, like, what they need to do, we supply everything. We supply crates, beds, treats, toys, anything you need, we supply. We just ask that you supply the love in the home until, you know, we get the dog adopted. Mm -hmm. The only thing fosters are really responsible for is doing meet and greets with potential adopters and, you know, bring them to events if they want to get them extra exposure. Yeah, and then sometimes you become a foster failure, and that's yes. okay. That's we have okay, lots of right? those. <laughs> yeah. So how has she been adapting to life with you and your home? Clearly, it's been going well. Yeah, um, well, she definitely has never been in a house before. The very first time she entered, she ran face first into two floor-length mirrors. <laughs> um, but we got couch covers. I'm a, I am mean, I've been a dog mom forever so whatever she needs we just adjusted I've had to clear pass like passageways because she comes flying in <laughs> um, and sometimes can't stop so we got new rugs we got you know some bumpers up um, but she's doing she's doing great and I've really enjoyed watching her even open up a little bit more she was like I thought she was gonna be like a shy dog like the first week and now I'm like oh you're not shy no, you're like, she's a lover girl she yes. just wants hugs and kisses and she she's just, a fashionista now she, yeah I mean she has I've never been now. out shown by a dog on my show <laughs> she's got a gold chain she's got some 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 diamonds she's uh she's shining yeah. and she likes it like as soon as I bring out um a another harness. She gets so excited to go outside. So she now has four different color harnesses. Oh, she's like, soon she's going to be telling you which harness yes. she wants like, to wear. I want to be in red today, <laughs> so then I wore the red blazer, yes. 
She's um, a good girl. Yeah, so let's talk more about the dogs that you have up um, within Buddies and yeah. use a foster, or obviously the ultimate goal is to find their forever home. Yeah, um, another thing we tell our fosters is that when you take a dog from a shelter, you're in essence saving the lives of two dogs, the dog that came from that crate and then the dog that now gets to take its place. Um, you know, we can't save dogs without foster families. It's so rewarding and so beautiful, especially when you have children, you're teaching them such a good lesson in life. So anyone that would ever be interested, you know, they can email, you know, ask questions at Buddy's Rescue at yahoo.com, or they can fill out a foster application at buddiesrescue.org. It's so easy when your house is just filled with love. You have something to do. The weather's finally getting nicer. It's an excuse to make sure you get outside, Walk get some dog. fresh air. Um, and again, the best part about Buddies is they're not going to leave you stranded. They're going to make yeah. sure they're Full support. holding your hands and supporting you through every step of the way. But Kaylee, thank you for coming in and sharing your story and doing so wonderful. And yeah. it seemed like the stars just aligned for you. And yes, Stella. It, it did, which it's a sad story, but a happy ending. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well, we would like more happy endings, but for more information on becoming a foster or all of the dog buddy, Dogs Buddies has up for adoption right now, head over to their website at buddiesrescue.org. Thanks for coming in, ladies. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks.